Thank you for joining me tonight, but I, before I start my presentation, I wanted to let you all know that one of my slides has um, a few flashing images and bright colors, so if you have photosyn um, a photosensitive uh, condition and you need to duck your head for, f for the first minute or so, um, please feel free to do that. Um, a great fire burns within me, but no one stops to warm themselves at it, and passers-by only see a wisp of smoke. Written by Vincent van Gogh. What makes something art? And what exactly makes passersby look at the fire, if not the wisp of smoke? Art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. It is human nature to challenge every frontier of being in a way that we can write as new or innovating, and most times we succeed. But what happens when we stress the boundaries of something so human, so raw and fundamental as art itself? To no one's surprise, we have, and we've done it already. AI art, one of the most divergent developments of technology seen to date, able to generate thousands of pieces with just a few prompts written on your computer. And just like that, we've industrialized art in a way that art matches the automobile industry, churning out hundreds of thousands of pieces of lifetimes in just a handful of seconds. It's undeniable that AI art is revolutionary in the field of technology, but what it's proving itself to be in the artistic world is a thick cloud of smog, smothering the flame described by Van Gogh to be his passion and ambition to build lifetimes in the ripples of his paint. Tonight, in my presentation, uh, Taking Shadow as Substance, we'll be discussing the true value of automated visuals in the field of art. As an artist myself who has dedicated countless hours of priming, refining, defining my work, I'll be guiding you all today through the ethical dilemma of artistic automation, the impact of artificial intelligence on our future artists, whether AI art is truly art, and what we can do as the individual to ensure that the value of human passion is not lost among the waves of AI synthesis. As difficult as it is to abbreviate something as intimate and raw as art into a simple definition, the most common interpretation describes it as a visual object or experience consciously created through an expression of skill or imagination. But before we ask the question of whether AI art humbles itself to suit the criteria of this definition, let's discuss the other implications of this technology. More specifically, what does it mean for our fellow artists? And what could it mean for art? Contrary to popular perception, AI art doesn't synthesize images out of nothing. In fact, in order to build an AI art program, it must first be trained with previously existing visualizations and pieces in order to tweak, twist, and meld new images to fit the requested prompt. But where do programmers get these images? From the hands and brushes of our very human artists. But you may beg the question, how do we know this information? How can we trace the origins of pieces so distorted beyond their original appearance? And the answer to this is actually quite simple, and it's a tradition we exercise daily to mark the presence of our individuality, the signature. And the slides behind me are numerous examples of this phenomena. These images are all AI-generated portraits, and if you look closely, you can see the remains of multiple signatures in their classic placements, hidden in the corner or above a figure nestled strategically between details. These images were first distributed by artists on Twitter before being published in an article by Art News in December of 2022. But in addition to this clear proof of human origin, Benji Edwards on Ars Technia in December of 2022 reported a website tool titled Have I Been Trained, developed specifically to dig through the databases of AI programs. This tool revealed countless pieces collected from online platforms such as DeviantArt and ArtStation, all of which were used in programs such as Lion 5B to generate portraits like the ones you see now. But theft isn't the only issue pervading the conversation of AI art. As all automation does, it deprives thousands the opportunities of potential jobs. Carla Ortiz, who has worked for Ubisoft, Marvel, and HBO, stated in 2022 in an article published by Kotaku, AI, AI does yield results that will be good enough for some. Because the end result is good enough, I think we could see a lot of loss of entry level and less visible jobs. This would affect not just illustrators, but photographers, graphic designers, models, or any job that requires visuals. Essentially, the brick-laying support purposes that many entry-level artistic opportunities serve are at risk of replacement, 
Instead of hiring a human artist for their work and experience to create concept work or sketches, the company could simply outsource to AI and generate thousands of images, many of which are derived from stolen pieces and are taken without consent from the original artist. And the issue is that we, as a collective whole, are still struggling over the boundaries of AI art and what it entails for copyright purposes. Are the momentary efforts of a string of code manipulated by an individual eligible for a copyright? Are we legally able to compensate those whose work was stolen and used in the efforts of automating one of the most integral forms of self-expression? The truth is, at this very moment, we can't say. And what many artists, including myself, find ourselves concerned over is what it could mean for the value of human passion that is created through years and years of practice and attention. It happens that this concern brings me directly to my next consideration. I'd like to direct your attention back to my slides. What you're seeing now is the process of one of my own personal pieces from the very start to end. You're considering hours of work, two weeks worth of extending my arm with a piece in hand and wondering exactly what shade of color would best suit the blue of the magpie's wings. And as written by Kibben in their paper titled, What Makes Art, Art, Reflections on the Core and Definition of Art, Beauty Does Not Equal Art, and Art Does Not Necessarily Equal Beauty Either. Rather, art is something made with intention and purpose. Entering a handful of prompts into a software does not reflect intention. It does not articulate years of work, hours of contemplation and creative plight to adjust the composition, the shades of blue, keenly keeping track of exactly how much blue is in your brush to capture the finest details. It's vital to remember that art, just as any form of human self-expression, is ameliorated and refined through hours, through days, months, years of practice and attention and love. Art is a reflection of human conscience and experience. AI art is not reflective. It is mere replication. As we near the end of tonight's presentation, I'd like to summarize the content we've discussed. First, we've learned exactly how AI programs work, how, to sy how they synthesize images, where they draw data from, and the clear human origins of the images these programs <coughs> manufacture. We've discussed the impact of AI on the art industry and what it could mean for the future of our young artists. And lastly, we've discussed and considered the qualifications of AI art as true art. But during our considerations, I realized that there is a fairly simple and intuitive solution to our plight. Neither artificial intelligence or automation are leaving anytime soon. In fact, they are already well entrenched with our conditions. But we need to change how much exactly we value these mimicked renderings of human experience and sentience. But what can we do as individuals to challenge these creative circumstances? We can adjust the very basis of what makes art so invaluable the interpretation. Art is valuable because we determine it to have value. We decide that the value is in the piece's conditions, its story, the intentionally chosen material, the form, or the color. We can recognize the marvel of programming AI art softwares are while simultaneously respecting the intricacies and faceted nature of human art. And that is the purpose of the speech to encourage you all to recognize the limitations of AI art and to ask that you not assign it the same weight or influence as one would to a painting or sculpture. Admire it as an advancement of technology and not as a surrogate for one of our most integral forms of artistry. Thank you. <laughs>